Seventh grade TCAP practice test, mass section, question number 21. Ryden has a gift box in the shape of a cube. The total surface area of the gift box is 486 square inches. And they give us the formulas for surface area and volume. What is the length of the edge of the gift box? Now, here's my little gift box. We're gonna, we're, it's a cube, other than this thing popping out. Now, when they talk about surface area, they want to know what goes on top. So let's just sp spread out the entire top, right? Uh, and what we want to know is how long one edge of it is. Now in order to get a good look at the old surface area, I'm going to move this book away. And you can see it's really six, one, two, three, four, five, six squares. In order to find the area of one of the squares, we do uh, base times height or side squared. So that's why our surface area formula that they give us is six times E squared. E would be the edge or uh, the length of one of the sides. So what I'm going to do is write down that formula SA equals 6 times E squared. I'm going to write a big E. My lowercase letters are terrible, so I'm just going to skip over that whole thing. Plus, my 6 and my E would look exactly alike, just upside down, and that's really weird. Anyway, they tell me that the surface area is 486 square inches. So where surface area is, I'm going to write 486. And inches squared I could put there if I want, which looks like this. But remember, that inch, that squared is not on the number. It's on the unit. Inches is squared, not 486. So don't do something weird. So I'm just going to, you know, get rid of that for right now so we don't look at it and think about it. Then 6 times E squared. So here's my, uh, m that's my star, really. E is what I'm looking for, the edge length. So I need to get rid of whatever's furthest away from it, which is times 6. In order to get rid of times 6, I need to divide by 6. What that does for me is allows me to take the area of all these squares together and just find one of them. So I'm taking all of these things and getting rid of them so I can look at one single side at a time. So divide by 6, 486. Dividing by 6 is 81. Now, there's a couple ways I could go about this. I know that E squared means edge times edge, or e times e, which would be e squared. So I could take the square root, or I could find a side that I can multiply by itself and equals 81. So say I chose 3 as my potential e, I would do 3 times 3, and that does not work. But I do know that 9 times 9 equals 81. So my e value could be 9. If you don't want to do that and you want to get rid of square, in order to get rid of square, we need to take the square root. So if I were to say, I'm going to try to cover most of it up. If we're just looking at this square here, the root of it, which is like at a plant, would be at the bottom, right? So I need to know one side of it. So I take the square root because I need to know the length of that bottom. In order to do that, in this calculator, you have the button right above square, so I'm going to type second and then hit the square button and it gives me the square root type 81 in and it gives me an answer of 9 so the length of an edge is just 9 inches not really that difficult of a problem in the other one we had to use the cube root you may have remembered that video from earlier if you've seen it if not you have no idea what I'm talking about and can zone out for a second uh, but if you need it it's there for you now in this case we didn't need the cube root because this says squared and that cube root is not the opposite of square square root is so not a really difficult problem but I just wanted to show you what they were talking about so that you could use the formulas and have some idea what's going on